more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Actually, it's right in front of me. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Uh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together. Similar to flies. Capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, Field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how. Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No, it looks like it's been corroded by strong acid.
The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir? Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are persuading yourself to define it as a life form? I know I'm in a hurry, but I should check this place first. New information changes perspective, Astrogator. But I think it's better to withhold any further classification until we learn more about genesis of these creatures. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of with all the skepticism that comes with it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph Come everything from a greater here. distance. Probe? Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down. Unless I find a working controller. Oh, I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers, 
and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. At first, the Inergo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Just as I thought, the equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. onto the hovering transporter. <sighs> Before you leave though, please check that the cargo is intact. this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. I'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Submit. They look amazing. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole has opened in the stratosphere. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself.
I don't know if I should interrupt your, uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll ask you how many times already. <laughs> uh, the fourth time, if I counter correctly. But I'm not planning another. The first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet. ...and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived... ...and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it? Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker... No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people, alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. I know what I saw. Two people. 
alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them? Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes? I'm alive. You know what, sir? That whole incident at the start of my journey. Yes, I remember. I got badly hurt back then, and I damaged the radio. And you lost your memory. The thing is, it wasn't the real cause. There were bushes there too, remember, sir? Just after the fall, the same black cloud of flies gathered above me. They subjected my brain to an electromagnetic field. Yes, now that's what you suspect. I know it. The memory of that event came back to me. So it was the flies all along, in the case of our crew as well? Yes. And that antimat in the tunnels and the whole convoy. It happened to all of them. Getting close to this fallen balloon. <laughs> ah, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just in my mind it sounded like like the title of some Renaissance painting. The fallen balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I found the recorder. The fallen recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units... No significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square. Next to the vehicles. Two vehicles that weren't there before. They've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. 
or to the ship. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh, captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon, I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait, you're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it. I told you. That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Still the certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space even. And why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. All my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know where to do it. Oh, that probe again. Is it right near the base, within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? I'll check its records. If I don't have to go out of my way to do so. I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. I remember we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, 
It is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. That view... It made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. Wait. How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yasna, what is it? Why is it too late? Yasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... You... What have you done? Shit! He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen, I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. I said get up. to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Huh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? A... Just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> for your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. Unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, what are you, doing? you don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, <laughs> smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire Council. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, no. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. There has to be a way. Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling yes, on about? You have a death wish? Only short answers from now on. I'll ask the questions and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or some code. Maybe grunts. Do you understand? Uh... Do as you see fit. I'll help as best I can. Is there anyone else? Uh -uh. Okay, leave it, Yasna. Let's focus on something else. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe. Start, damn it. Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Legs? Uh-huh. It's about the legs? Nah. -uh. I must have misheard. Let's try again. Does it concern... When it rains, it pours, huh? Legs? Torso? Uh-huh. It's about his torso? Nah. -uh. Still no. This won't work. This man has something very specific about him, but I'm not going to be able to figure out what. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. You think you could have? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Yes, really? Oh, really? I'm listening. 
I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, I feel tongue for once. Somehow I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It's just me and my call. Yes, no, I think the signal is getting weaker. Wherever it's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Uh huh. Get in. Go, yes, sir. I, I don't want to. Go. Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh. Sit here. Don't you dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. friend. Still cranky? Uh, I've always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. One for you. And one... for Spliskus. I'll pass for now be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend! It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something. To have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat! Come on. Eat! Like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdoff went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. The whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. And you objected so much. Listen. She's lying too. 
Sorry, I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman. Unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup. Over and out. Hey, Milos. Hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. Preferably in silence. Do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. You named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Uh, wait. Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Oh, lambs. That's a good brand. <laughs> Coven always smoked them. The part about being scientists is true, but we were supposed to see what you were doing here. Or rather, what the Invincible will do here, in several days. That makes no sense. The command center has no reason to send a second cruiser to this sector. And yet, they sent you. Hell no. We stopped here by accident, due to work on the main core. I don't understand anything anymore. Neither do I. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you? Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So... not many. I told you. We're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Gorski, 
a cyberneticist, a golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. Everyone was convinced he would get far, but he only managed to take a few steps. Kovel, our physicist. He's unresponsive now, always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... she was... a dear friend of mine. Krauter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. He was mortally wounded while wandering in a stupor. We don't even know how it exactly happened. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors. Those who were unable to... to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived. And so we wait. What a shame. Last time you had something to drink. The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. <laughs> Local, but true. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I needed that. <sighs> Me too. I've been silent for nearly two whole seconds. Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots. That your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies. Which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... <laughs> can you prove it somehow? You'll find everything in my journal. The course of events. Pictures of the cloud. Should I throw it? No, that's enough throwing. We'll do as follows. I'll give that Astro Gator of yours a message, letting him know you're alive. Then, I'll read your journal. And in the meantime, you... will get some rest. Been through a lot. Take my bedroll if you want. Take it easy. Rahitra, you don't mind if I play with your probe? Well, no answer is also an answer.
Oh, that's why he was expecting me. A sedative? Does he serve it to them in the food? Or does he take it himself? The antenna must be outside. No, I can't go back. Hey, you! How did you get here? The Commonwealth? What are you doing here? <sighs> Come on, stop pulling my leg. It's not funny, Rahitra. If anyone's joking around here... Hang on. How do you know my name? For crying out loud, we met yesterday. You really don't remember. I... Is this some new trick of yours, damn Commonwealthers? Uh, put that thing away. We both know the blaster doesn't work. You told me about it yourself. And about the man you killed with it. Fuck! I know that you're waiting for help from the Condor. Doing everything you can to take care of Spluskus and Lendor. I know what's wrong with them, and I'm guessing something similar might have happened to you. Can you somehow- Let me finish. You have my journal. Everything is in there. Are you talking about this? Yes. Read it. And I... I'll wait some more. So, have you read everything? I've read enough. Take it. Hey, hey, it's going to be fine. We'll make it. You're Dr. Yasna, right? Yasna is enough. Okay, Yasna, I have a favor to ask. Someone needs to go and find Milos. If that cloud really damaged my mind, then we don't know how much time has passed. In fact, I don't know anything anymore. Don't worry. I was thinking the same thing. I'll leave right now. And you wait here with the guys. Thank you. There's a rover down below. You must use another exit. A hidden one, so to speak. It's over here, behind me. Go ahead. Good luck, Doc. Shit. That was... He was... I don't know. I've got to tell Novik everything.